Welcome back. I'm your host, Ron DeCourt. In this chapter of Watchmaking Lays, we'll focus on repivoting a pocket watch fourth wheel. This project will emphasize free turning and drilling practices. There are thousands of drill geometries of which the modern twist drill is the most commonly accessible and very suitable for most any repivoting work. The business end of a twist drill is a complex intersection of facets which must be symmetrical, centered, and sharp. In preparation for drilling, the work must be made flat and square. With the spindle stationary, use a fine grain Arkansas stone brought gently across the work. This will help ensure that the drill doesn't wander. Rotating the work against the stone will not accomplish the task. Anneal the work using a brass rod with a hole drilled in the end and chucked in the tailstock. Heat the end of the rod to bright red and then hold it to the work. Allow the work and rod to cool slowly together. With the spindle speed around 1000, advance the O25 drill in small increments, two to three hundredths, until the hole is three to four times deeper than the drill diameter. Extract the drill after each advancement to be sure it's cutting. If not, reduce the spindle speed and or check your drill. Chuck up a piece of two millimeter air hardening steel and turn a suitable length to about 0.5 millimeter diameter. Harden the turn portion with an open flame, such as an alcohol lamp, while the work is rotating at slow speed and allow to cool slowly. Turn a measured length to the same diameter as the drill you used until the pinion just slips on. Finish turn the remaining portion of the diameter. This is where free turning really comes to practice. Slide a piece of paper between the cross slide rail and bed to turn the tapered end. Mount the pinion in the tailstock and put a very small amount of industrial adhesive on the outer diameter of the new pivot, not on the end or in the hole. Slide the pinion onto the pivot and allow the adhesive to cure overnight while the pinion is still held in the tailstock. The new pivot can now be parted off gently. The Jacot lathe is best used to finish the new pivot. This operation will also test the strength of the adhesive bonding. Repivoting is one of the most challenging disciplines in watchmaking. A large assortment of orphan pinions is an invaluable asset prior to becoming proficient. Practice, there's a lot to learn. And just for fun, an O15 diameter by O40 hole in the end of a long O30 pivot. Have fun, and thanks for watching.